Well, hi, welcome to my latest video. This should be really quick. I just wanted to be able to demonstrate how I improved the performance of reading my SD cards for my new camera. This particular one is from SanDisk and it is an XC2 type card. That actually, if you look at the back of the card, it actually has some additional lands on it to allow for more parallel transfer of the information. So it's supposed to be really fast and that's the highest end card that I need when I'm trying to record the highest resolution on my new ZV-E1 camera. You know, since it is full frame and it has a lot of other features to it, advanced features, 10-bit, and so forth, you have to have a card like that. Now, when I was using my traditional way of transferring using this USB 3.0 SD card to USB-A reader, I didn't seem to be picking up much extra speed on it and transferring it to my computer. That's what led me into, into doing the, the research a little bit more. This card and this reader are not going any faster than the card that's in this Panasonic camera that I'm filming this video with, with a card that's half the performance of this. What I did, and you saw it when I opened up some of my accessories that I recently purchased for my new ZV-E1, I bought this new Anchor USB Type-C high-speed transfer that is supposed to support the SC2. Now I went ahead and tried it with some files that I was transferring using that card and it seemed faster, but I wanted to get more detailed measurements of what that was. So what I'm going to show you in this video is this original one using this card to transfer to USB 2.0, because this will work in 2.0, and also 3.0. And then I'll also try it with this one here, the brand new one that I got, which is supposed to support the additional performance. And we'll see what kind of measurements I get when I go ahead and test them all. To complete this test, I'll be focusing on the tool, the freeware tool, Crystal Discmark, the latest version, 8.0 something. And I'll measure the exact same SD card in all three modes. I'm going to start with the SD card reader that's for 3.0 devices. I'm going to put this SD card in it, and then we'll put it into a USB 2.0 port first, and we'll see what kind of performance we get with Crystal Disk Mark. So there you go. Rather low, uh, but that's what was expected with that particular one. So now let me switch it over to a USB 3.0 port, the same device. I'm not moving the card at all, just moving the whole device and card together, and we'll see if it improves performance in the USB 3.0 port. Well, as you can see, the results are definitive. The performance jumped up considerably by going just to 3.0. Now let me try switching it over to the other Anchor device for SD card readers, the same card, and then we'll put that into my USB-C port, which is supposed to support uh, almost twice the speed of a USB 3.0, and we'll see. Well, the results show it. Now, this is by far the highest performance card that I have with using the Anchor device and connecting it through the USB-C port. This goes to show what, what kind of results we can get. So anyway, that's what I wanted to cover here in this quick video, showing what the performance of this supposed up to 300 megabyte per second uh, SD card and how it makes a big difference how you connect it up to your PC, what device you use to connect it and what type of port that you use as well. So keep that in mind if you have you know, a lot of videos that you want to transfer directly from your card reader over to your PC.